Right, so we're over at Taswood Lakes in Norfolk, and um, we're on Grove Lake, uh, one of the more uh, runs orientated lakes on the complex. I'm um, here with my mate uh, Blake and his dad Chris, having a bit of a social really before uh, his uh, wedding. So, a big shout out to Blake and Sarah. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really hard going here so far. It's absolutely baking hot. Um, can't really unplay ball. I uh, had one last night just after I got here. Um, about 11, 12 pound common, nice looking fish. Um, but since then, it's just been, just been really hard. Um, I just haven't haven't been on it at all. Um, yeah, uh, had a few zigs out uh, and nothing really, and went round done a bit of float fishing, but they were just taking the odd bait. They weren't really having that either. But um, it's just so hot, they're just lounging around really. But I've got three nights, so say so last night had that one. So hopefully tonight will be a bit better. Um, hopefully it'll pick up a bit because it has been really slow so far. There's not been a lot of fish coming out around the lake. Um, I only had two, one last night before I um, got here and then uh, one just now as well so hopefully it's a sign of things to come. Um, but yeah, um, I'll go through a few things in a little while uh, about the mix and stuff I've been using here but um, other than that, uh, since my last video um, it's been a really hard month for me really fishing wise. I haven't been able to get out a lot um, with one thing or another. But um, when I have, it's gone terribly. I was on um, Heron, another lake on this complex, for a night. Uh, hadn't been fishing that well, but uh, I managed five runs. Um, I got cut off three times on a snag that was out uh, in the lilies that they had to go out and get in the end. Um, had one hook pull and landed probably the smallest fish in the lake, about nine pounds. So that was an absolute nightmare session. Um, and then my next session, done a bit of float fishing over on Bobby 2. Um, I had a, a bit of a balls up with my controller float. The line managed to wrap inside the gap on the back of the controller float. Um, and when I got a take, just snapped the hook in clean. Um, so yeah, it's just been one of those months really where nothing's really gone to plan. Uh, did have one nice common though from Bobby. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just it's just been 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 a bit of a shit month. That's how it goes really in fishing. So hopefully this session will make up for it and I have a few nice fish to show you later on. Right, so I just thought I'd go through the uh, spod mix I've been using on this session. Um, it's a right old mix of stuff really, but the uh, main base of it um, is uh, just cooked up hemp. Uh, there's a few weird rules over on uh, Taswood. The only particles you're allowed are things like um, hemp and uh, corn, that kind of thing. They don't allow anything, any nuts, any ty uh, any uh, maple peas, any small seed nut uh, mixes, like uh, pigeon condition, that kind of thing that I'd normally like to use. So the mix is just um, hemp, which I've cooked up at home myself. Um, big bags, a lot cheaper than getting it from your tackle shop if you do it yourself. Um, yeah, so that's cooked up with uh, some pink Himalayan rock salt from Oxford Carp Base. Really, really good stuff, the best rock salt you can get really. Um, and then that's also got some chilli in it as well to, when it's soaked. Um, but yeah, to that I've just added uh, a bag of uh, frozen sweet corn just from the supermarket. Um, and then got some um, old maggots that I've had in the freezer from uh, previous sessions. So they're dead but they're still they look really good, they've gone really dark and they look they almost look like blood worm in colour. Um, they just look really really good in the mix. Um, to that I've also added um, some tuna flake as well, um, just to make a really really fishy mix really. So that's the main base of the uh, mix to start with, so good helping of that first. And then to that I've been adding um, a mix of uh, blood worm pellet. And kind of a, it's kind of a nutty, um, peanutty kind of meal um, pellet as well. Um, it's kind of, kind of similar to one of the boilies that I'm using. Um, so, good, good few handfuls of that have gone in there. Give it a good mix up. Give a bit more pellet than that in there. That's already looking like a really, 
really nice uh, mix on its own. But to that, I've been adding um, some holes, some crushed, and some half um, boily 16 millers, which are um, the MC nut um, from Octa Carp Baits, and that is glugged in the matching glug as well. They've just been sitting that to soak, and they've gone really nice and oily. Um, a good, good few handfuls of them going in there because they are what will be uh, fishing over the top really of uh, their into that bait. And then I'll just add some uh, chopped and half baits to that in a little while and uh, that'll be good to go. That's all it is. It's a really, really nice uh, mix of things in there really. You've got a mix of uh, the tuna and uh, the hemp and everything, it's really really oily and fishy and then you've got the nice nutty mix of the pellets and the uh, and the boilies as well so it's just a really nice fairly cheap mix to knock up as well the pellets I buy in bulk online and um, the hemp is they just buy a big big sack 15k sack from local garden centre or somewhere like that and cook it up yourself and uh, you'll have yourself a really nice uh, cheap mix Right, so here we go, it's been really slow. Um, just that one the other night still. I um, uh, haven't really seen a lot, but I uh, decided to move one of my rods down to a little set of lilies, uh, to just near margin to where I am set up. Um, put a bit of bait over there the last couple of days, and it's only been there an hour or two, and uh, it's ripped off with this little common. The set's been really hard going, haven't really been able to get on the fish, and uh, but yeah, it's just nice to get a reward. Got another, uh, another night to go but a uh, bit of confidence going into it with this little one here. Haven't weighed it, but after the last few days, uh, it's just nice to get a fish. So, let's give it back. Hopefully, uh, hope it's lively. And uh, hopefully have some more to show you uh, in the morning. Right, so I thought I'd just go through my swim. Um, it's a bit bright, so sorry about that, but um, hopefully you can see. Uh, in front there's a uh, set of pads um, first rod is just tight to the margin at the back there uh, I started off with two rods over the back they're really tight together and put a big bed of a uh, particle out and had the first fish like that but after that it really didn't seem to uh, to be working that well so um, I ended up moving one rod uh, right down in the margin just down here you can see there's a set of couple of lilies at the back there and I'll just fish into the edge of those I've been baiting it for a few days just to uh, before I put a rod in it and then uh, last night um, had an eventful night but also an absolutely awful night um, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a little while um, so yeah at the moment I've got a rod just over to the back just off the corner of those pads uh, tight to the very back and one down in the near margin uh, switch to just using just boiling now um, and that seems to have been Getting, getting bites a bit quicker than with a particle. Uh, I think because of the rules that you can't usually use a lot of particle other than hemp, people don't tend to bother um, in the latest season. Um, just boilies is all anyone seems to use talking around, so um, that seems to definitely be bringing the bites quicker. But yeah, uh, got to pack up in a little while, but you never know, might be time for another one. But, uh, until then, yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. Right, so here we are, it's the end of the uh, session. It's been a good good fun social over here at Taswood. Um, really enjoyed it. The fishing's not really gone my way. Um, it's been quite quiet for me. I had these two fish, um, one right at the start and one yesterday, um, until last night when it was uh, eventful, um, but not in a good way really. I ended up with four runs to the rod that I moved into the margin, um, which uh, sounds really good, but are they all kited? There's a, a real savage set of reeds and it's fishing locked up and uh, all four managed to get in there. Uh, first one came out but must have uh, loosened the hook hole because uh, that came came off just sort of bring it, bring it in towards the net and the other three uh, all dumped me in the reeds so uh, four runs and no fish for it. Um, that seems to be how it goes. You go in spells of uh, good and bad months in fishing and I've been on a really good run for the last six months or so uh, and haven't really been able to see, do much wrong really, everything seems to have been going my way but this last month has just been absolutely awful for me um, but I haven't really changed anything, still using the same rigs and everything, it's just 
space there we go sometimes you just you've got to take the uh, rush with a smooth but if it was easy all the time uh, uh, we, we wouldn't enjoy it so much really would we and I always said these videos would be um, show the good and bad side of, uh, of how I get on and uh, this last couple of uh, weeks has certainly been the bad side but um, we'll see keep at it as always and uh, hopefully things will get better but it's been really good fun good to catch up with my Blake and uh, his dad so it's been really good and again massive uh, shout out to uh, him and Sarah for uh, their up and coming wedding and uh, yeah, until next time, uh, I'll see you, uh, see you on the bank.